This is one of a series of reminiscence videos that I'm making on behalf of the Wiltshire Museum in Devizes and the Salisbury Museum. My name is Sarah and I'm the community curator at both of those museums. I hope that these will be a good resource for anyone who wants to have a different reason to spark conversation, who's interested in exploring the past through objects, perhaps for care settings for people who are living apart from their relatives that they can't visit at the moment. I'm making them all from the comfort of my spare room and I hope you enjoy them. Let me introduce you to some of the objects from our Wessex Museum's Partnership Reminiscence Boxes um, under the theme Home and Home Life. Quite often we think about domestic work, but also perhaps about leisure. In the 1940s and particularly into the 50s and 60s, the world of leisure, fashion, um, were becoming more and more important. And so there are some publications that were common to households that really exemplify that. So I've got a lovely copy of the Radio Times here um, from 1954. The reason I chose this one is it's got a cracking little article on Stonehenge itself. So it felt very relevant to our local area. These ones particularly interest me because it's quite interesting how gendered um, these objects can be. Quite often people will remember having one in their home, seeing these things lying around. And quite often it will have been dad um, or granddad reading the Radio Times, reading the newspapers. And these publications were created specifically for women um, and say quite a lot, I think, about um, what women were expected to be um, supposed to be. So for you to think about, what publications do you remember being around in your household? And who was reading them? Who do they remind you of? My fondest memories are of my granddad doing the crossword in the corner with a pen tucked behind his ear. It's been really interesting reading these magazines. Uh, thinking about the times that we're in now and how many people are going back to home baking, making things for themselves, crafts. There's so much content here that's related to that. Most of the rest of the articles in the Woman's World magazines um, can be divided up into um, motherhood, um, domesticity, lots of adverts, and, uh, and something that surprised me really, an incredible amount of um, beauty hints and tips, which is something that I'd not really thought about. Beyond that, um, there's the romantic serial, which is... Um, uh, a, a real feature of, of women's publications, particularly around this period of time. So did you grow up in a making and baking household? Or was the only time that somebody knitted you something in your family a source of horrible embarrassment? Do you think that we as a society have lost anything now that we don't uh, make our own clothes, mend our own clothes, uh, spend our time baking things and making things from scratch? It's also definitely true that the number of um, household items and motherhood articles in here are more than outweighed by the beauty and the going to the pictures and the talking about your social life. It feels like the idea of what women are supposed to be is changing really rapidly in these pages. How does all this reflect on your memories of women's and men's roles as you were growing up, as you became an adult and went off to become a man or a woman? Uh, yourself leaving your family home.